going on YouTube, Grave Cinder here, and welcome back for episode number 11. Um, I actually want to start this episode off with a question, question for all of you guys watching. Did you end up watching the city get destroyed in the um, the natural disasters, the, uh, the nine disasters video that I made? That was epic. We tested every single disaster and pretty much destroyed everything that uh, that you see here that is currently intact was pretty much gone. So that was pretty fun. Um, did you watching get a uh, get the uh, the natural disasters DLC? Have you had a chance to play with it? What do you think about it so far? Let me know in the comments below. And then as far as today's episode goes, I do have a couple of plans. Um, one is going. Uh, going to be that we need to redo this this uh, this layout right here for me is not gonna work I I don't really have a, a good reason why it's just it's it's not something that that's very appealing to me I think I rushed into it and designed it and that is something that I'm gonna work on on this episode the uh, the other um, think on the agenda today is the city planning policies so we're going to review the policies and um, see if there's uh, there's anything that we can improve third thing is going to be disaster responses and um, disaster response services that came with the uh, with the DLC so what I will go ahead and do is enable random disasters but we are gonna put it down on super low let's go ahead and activate uh, dynamic weather while we're here and we are gonna do an episode sometime soon with a uh, day night cycle so you guys can see what the city looks like at night but yes so we are enabling random disasters um, I didn't get the DLC just to uh, to have it sit there. I actually want to use it and play around with it and uh, go from there. And um, services as well for, for this area are going to need to be redone. And I will go ahead and take a look at that as well. So, um, I am going to go ahead and work on this off camera. There may or may not be a time lapse, depending on how long it takes me to uh, to redo it. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, by the way, before I go, I forgot to do the overview with you. There's just been so much going on right now with, with the DLCs and uploading of videos here, there, and everywhere. Um, so currently we're sitting at 100, or I'm sorry, $1,111,000 in the bank. We have 23000 incoming weekly which is really good for a city of 16,000 and we have 103 residents moving in per week small demand for residential commercial and a uh, pretty big demand for offices slash industrial so all right let me go ahead and work on this guys I'll uh, meet you back in a few moments and show you what it looks like Alright guys, I'm back, and um, let's check out what I've made. So I started over here, I added an additional water pumping station as uh, our water was getting low, and then you'll notice here that I added the, um, the keys as well. I went ahead and I upgraded all of our sewage outflow to the uh, to the ones that produce less sewage pollution if you will and let me show you here so that would be the water treatment plants is what they're called and it reduces uh, purifies 85 percent of the pollution in sewage so this all right here should go away well not not a hundred percent but It'll, uh, it'll reduce itself by, uh, by a lot. Okay. And uh, now, 
I want to show you what I've done over here. Before I do, it is a surprise. Don't be mad that I didn't do a time lapse of it. It took me literally like seven hours in, with with breaks, of course, and everything. I was off today from work to um, to kind of fine tune everything that I uh, that I did over here on this side. So let me show you. There we go. And I will, of course, explain what all of this is as well. But this is what it looks like. So we are having just a little bit of flooding here since I added the, uh, the keys. That shouldn't uh, be a permanent thing, I think. Uh, that should go away a little bit later. But let me show you what uh, what's going on over here. So for, let me show you the districts. It's a little bit easier to explain that way. Magnolia district here is going to be just leisure. So that's gonna be our small block of leisure. Magnolia Park is going to be everything commercial and it's going to be all high density commercial. Sunset Park is going to be all high density residential. And then over here, Walnut Square is going to be all offices. And as far as the interchange goes here, I removed the uh, the whole left side of it. For now, I may uh, I may put it back later if the traffic becomes just unbearable in the city. And then here, I created something just a little bit different. You'll notice that I have just the off point and the on point on this side, nothing going on from this side down that is because we don't have this connected yet and I haven't quite figured out exactly what or how and where this is going to lead this highway if it's going to connect to this side or not so here's what we have left to do here we have to provide services we also have to provide parks um, oh by the way here on this side I didn't mention, this is where I'm planning on putting all of the disaster response units. So the helicopter pad, the fire helicopter, the, um, the police helicopter, and then the medical helicopter pads, those are all hopefully going to go over here. And then when we buy this tile, we are going to build a, um, oh, whatchamacallit, the dock. Right there. So that is, uh, that is what I have in the plans. Let me know in the comment box below, guys, what you think, uh, what you think about this. I think it turned out fantastic. Uh, let me show you the, uh, the extended um, pathway network that I have going on here as well. So pretty much by walking, you can get everywhere into the city. So let's say, for example, you start over here, you want to go visit your neighbor down this way, you have plenty of off points to do so. If you wanted to, say, walk across to, uh, to the offices, let's say you work there and you just want to walk there instead of taking a car, you take this pathway that goes under the uh, bridge and it connects over here so you can go left, right, straight, in a way. and go anywhere here in the city, really. Same thing if, uh, let's say you work over here, but then after work you wanna go to, um, to the leisure district or you just wanna go do some shopping, you have a pathway under the highway here. 
and uh, apparently a bear as well. That's awesome. There he goes. Um, don't get mauled by the bear by your going over to uh, to the shopping district. So you would come over here, do some shopping, maybe go to the leisure district to visit a nightclub. And uh, if you want to go back, just take any of the provided pathways right alongside here. Then go back home. So I thought that was pretty cool. Hopefully that'll decrease the uh, the amount of traffic as far as um, uh, normal vehicles go. And then if you're wondering, well, how does the commercial traffic leave when they come in? Well, they would come in here, do their business. They can either, well, this could be a little bit confusing for them, but they could hop on the highway here, get off here, go around the roundabout, hop on this ramp and leave the city. The other option is to take the, uh, the side roads come on over here depending on where you're at here and um, go that way the third option is coming over here going around the loop entering the roundabout and getting on the highway so that's what I got we do have some um, commercial demand so why don't we go ahead and start zoning our um, leisure district so we'll just go ahead and zone all of this and all of this right here perfect as far as transferring power what we can do oh no I gotta go right here This may be a little bit tricky. Let's go ahead and put a plaza here for now. This may or may not be temporary. And we can start zoning. Right over here. I'm not going to put anything here because that is the uh, the roundabout way. And you know what? While all this is developing, let's provide some power real quick. I forgot. We are going to need to do some power upgrades over here as well. Before I forget, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. It's going to add another oil. Yeah, why not right there? Just for now. Again, 100% temporary here. Don't pay too much attention to it. So what I was going to say, I forgot to upgrade this to a um, one-way road. this direction okay that's it at a later point we're gonna go ahead and decorate this area with some trees maybe a couple of parks as well let's kind of break up the um, the skyline if you will but for now, we're going to go ahead and leave it and let it develop. What I will do is continue. 
expanding the commercial block. To right about there. Let's go ahead and... Oh, perfect, the plaza will fit right there. And then because we do have some residential demand, we are going to go ahead and start with our first high density block right here. Now I am relying on all of these to fill in as well. So we can have power. Water, of course, is also something that you always have to keep track of. Also, once we hit 30,000 population, maybe even 25, that is when I'm going to introduce metros to this area. But for now, let's focus on getting there. Wait a minute, I made a mistake. This is all supposed to be commercial and then Sunset Park starts right here. This is all supposed to be residential. Well, in that case, my apologies and Let's restart. Yep, so right here to this road, we're going to go ahead and extend. Just like so. Perfect. All right. That's a good thing I caught that now rather than later. And just to make the area more attractive to those new residents, we're going to go ahead and place a park right there. And then hopefully all the other commercial will zone right here. 
and we'll see how that goes. I will go ahead and continue our farming layout as well. We haven't been here in a, in a little while. This is still somewhat flowing, so I think one thing that I can do for now is just upgrade this to a highway. I will go ahead and leave it. We can even do the same thing to this one. Perfect. You know, there is one thing that I've been wanting to check on for a long time is how much money we're making from... Oh, why do I have power at 120%? From farming. I wanted to see how much money we're making from farming and looks like currently we're making $6,000 a week on farming. Which is pretty good. Out of our 22,000, that's about the uh, the 25% of the budget. So while those develop, let's go ahead and work on some services. What I thought about doing is placing a hospital right here. I think that should work just fine. And then across from it, a firehouse. That'll cover most of this area. And then how would it look? So we don't have enough room to do that, but we would have to destroy that pathway. What if I just put it right here? Okay, that'll work. I am A-OK -okay with that. And power looks like because I reduced it back down to... Um, 100% we're having some power issues, but that's okay. Another one of these will help out. Wait a minute, now I see the problem. We don't have these uh, areas linked up. Now that'll go away, there we go. Because before it was only being powered by, um, by this little wind turbine right there. All right, now I noticed that our services don't quite reach to this area here. So we can make, this is a perfect spot for, for services right here. So we'll go ahead and put a hospital or a clinic, I'm sorry, right there. We are also gonna put a small fire station and a small police station right there. So now we have coverage throughout. Perfect. And while we're here, let's go ahead and place a crematorium 
here as well. Perfect. And we are going to need one here, but I kind of feel bad putting it right next to the hospital. That'd be kind of uh, terrifying. If, uh, let's say, you went to the hospital and you knew you had some sort of an issue, they're like, well, we have a crematorium right on the side of the building. So for that, I can... I'll put it right there for now. Yeah, that'll work. We are also going to need a lot more parks in this area. And we can put a fire pit park there. We can put another one right in there. While we're at it, why don't we just round off this area here, all with fire pit parks. Which should work just fine. And looks like we are uh, soon going to run out of residential zoning room here. So what I'll do is I'll expand this layout to this side over here as well and join it with the office district. Looks like it's starting to snow. And these parks are pretty cheap and they have a very low upkeep. The ice sculpture park, and you can place them literally anywhere. It's a four by four block. So that is the reason why I'm using a lot of these in the uh, in the high density area here and a couple of them here there and you have ample coverage okay and we have no demand for residential anymore as we zone just a, a very big block right there so now the demand is in industrial as well as commercial since we are here in this area. Let's go ahead and make a really nice big block of commercial. And I'm going to pause it real quick because I don't want a building growing or spawning right in there. Just so I can add the pathway right there. Perfect. And why not right there as well? And they are developing pretty quickly. Residential demand is back up again. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to run out of room here pretty quickly. I'll go ahead and put the game on uh, two speed and I. Uh, Remember I said I was going to go over some policies with you guys as well, so I'll take the time to do that right now as we are running out of time for the episode itself. So for Sunset Park, oh come on, there we go, Sunset Park, what I wanted to do, oh, another uh, another milestone, why don't we go over uh, go over that real quick. By the way, I forgot to mention, 
previous milestone, I think this actually happened in episode 9 or 10. Um, we hit the 15,000 mark, we unlocked a new area, water treatment plant crematorium as well as a cryo preservatory. So we have all of those available to us. You guys saw me using both the crematorium and the water treatment plant. And the next one is a solar power plant. Now I'm also sure you guys remember that I said that we are going to be utilizing a solar power plant. So that's something that we're going to or actually use for the next episode. Perfect. What is the name of that milestone? Grand City. Just, uh, just in time since we have started building this area right here. Pretty excited to see how this develops. But back to policy. So Sunset Park. This is going to have high-tech housing. That is definitely something that I want in there. Um, oh, what the hell. Let's give them studded tires and anti-slip studs. Area. This is cool. This is new. VIP area. I guess we can we can go over these later. Oh, I definitely want this lightning rods. For Magnolia Park, we are gonna enable big business benefactor because I want that money to to be flowing in. And I think that's all for that. Yep, and for offices. Oh, where is that one policy? For offices, I'm going to give these guys a free public transport. So once we put buses coming through this area, if you work here, you're going to have a free bus to take you there. Or you can walk. And one of my subscribers mentioned that uh, since I made a joke about the Elizabeth district over here, I think it was episode 8 or 9, regarding smoking, that I should put a no smoking policy or a smoking ban here so I will go ahead and do that and see what happens I've never used that policy before but alright guys we're gonna go ahead and uh, call it an episode right here um, I didn't get a chance to get into the disaster response unit, so that is something that we're going to leave for the next episode. I'll go ahead and make a layout for it. You may even get a time lapse this time. And um, we'll see you on the next episode. Subscribe if you want to follow the series and um, get notified when the content comes out. Hit the bell button. Also, uh, if you could, if you like the video itself and the design of the city, give the video a like. That will really help out my channel and let other mayors out there know about uh, know about me and maybe they will uh, take an idea or two away from what I have to offer but thanks again and we'll see you on episode number 12